Thanks for staying with us. So as you know, it's our Celebrity Friday, and in the studio with us is a Nigerian film director, film actor, lawyer, producer, with countless blockbuster movies under his belt. Known for his gifted, energetic, and highly influential in the Nigerian film industry, he's one of the, he's the son of a veteran actor, Adebayo Salami. He recently produced the Talk of the Town movie, Jagun Jagun. Welcome with us, Femi Adebayo in the baby. Thank you very I much. I think for the having. first few days was 2.1 million viewers, you said. I, mean, I just watched on Netflix. Congratulations. Thank you so much. The movie everybody's talking about, Jagun Jagun. I'm thinking, yeah. oh God, from Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria. Yeah. So, I mean, the very first question many Nigerians always want to know concerning when the blockbuster comes out is what inspired it? What is that? Um, but I think that there's a clip of it for those of you that have not even turned on your Netflix. I don't know if you know what it was. Just watch this small clip. <laughs> Staying with us. Well done, well done, well done. So everybody's asking about the movie, and I have to ask you, what inspired it, and who wrote the script? Like, who thought of Agemo Gundiji? <laughs> like, who put that script What's together? Okay, um, that's two questions in one. Yes. <laughs> All right, so um, what inspired Jagun Jagun? It's the, the participation of the youth in the society. All right, so... There have been a lot of um, youth accusing the government or blah, blah, blah. It's actually a social message, you know, and um, I felt, okay, we, the youth, need to talk to ourselves first. All right, so for these people in power that we're talking about mm. cannot perpetrate any evil, so-called evil, without mm. using the youth. Mm. All right, so most times the youth are used as the instrument for destruction. Mm -hmm. So I felt, okay, let's take the bull by the horn, all right? Let's talk to the youths. Stop allowing yourselves to be used as weapons or instruments of destruction. So if you resist from, you know, allowing yourself to be used as a weapon, then let's see how they can use weapons for destruction. So that inspired, so me passing that message, you know, and I, and I thought of passing it in a very unique way, mm -hmm. you know, and at the same time wanting to set the beauty of Yoruba culture to the world. Mm. So, so I now match the two together mm. to come up with Jagun Jagun. I noticed that when we were doing this movie, you brought in a lot of our old um, veteran. Veteran, veterans, yeah. veteran actors, and um, it was interesting to see them play. Did you feel, the, did you feel compelled to use them, uh, or did you want to highlight, in, I felt you could have been an opportunity to highlight a really new face, new but generation. we saw a lot of our... Oh, they were happy to see them, but was there any thought behind father? And I said, one of the things I loved about it is that, you know, generation to generation, your, your father is alive. To see, I have dedicated my life to this thing, mm. and then my son also put his life into it, and then he's able to see the success of his son. That part gives me goosebumps, legacy. Yeah. And how are you intending to pass it on, like, to the... Lucky man, because... Okay, my children, I don't see any one of them oh. thinking in this line. They only say, oh, daddy, you acted well. She won't you act, you know. <laughs> you act, you know. So I think it's just lucky, and it's more of um, what we Yoruba would call destiny. Mm. So I call it, but that's it. Yeah. I, if any of my children eventually kiss it up, fine. If they don't, well. My husband loves <laughs> that movie. He sends me eight questions. <laughs> Are you kidding? He's co-hosting. <laughs> Raul said, please ask him, who exactly created Agemo? Mm. And why can they take that Agemo mask to Nike Art Gallery? Because it has to become a monumental auction, <laughs> or be auctioned for something. So mm. that, that I mask, love that. the yes. Agemo mask for him, he feels it's something that should actually be treasured. Yeah. Mm. Who created the, 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 ah, the, the that character and what do you plan to do with the mask? Okay, I created the character. Mm. You know, I was actually looking for the strongest suspense that could ever be in any Nigerian movie. Mm. And it was... So I thought of um, Agem. Oh, so, like, is there a way, is, or is it just normal, that is there a way we can grab the sure, essence yes. of these uh, local languages and interpret them in such a way that people understand the depth of what has been said? I doubt it. We lose the beauty. Hmm. Yoruba, Yoruba language is so beautiful. You know, we talk more with proverbs, you know, and them. Um, in the bit of trying to get exact, you know, um, meaning, you know, you might actually lose the beauty. You can only try to say, okay, this is what this means. But the exact words, I'm a loser. You lose the beauty. 
Wow. Mm. So, I'm take Ade and I'll come to you, Toko. Okay. I'll come to them. Okay. Ade from London. Thanks for calling, Ade. Yes, good morning. Morning. Uh, three morning. Questions, three, four. Yeah. Three, three. <laughs> three. Yes, Go ahead. Number one, when is the ship coming to London? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With, with, with the cars I'm seeing there, yeah. how many cars does it kill every day? <laughs> to feed them. How much? How much? Please. Thank oh, you. that's a good question. Yeah. Thank you, Ade. How, how much have you spent on feeding? How much have you, have you, how much have you brought in? And when are you coming? How much has this spent? How much has this cost me? Yeah. That was what it asked. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I want to know how much you spent. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah, much? Revenue. Yes. Yeah. Are, are the dollars Are you winning? Well, we is it big? Well, we it's worth it, actually. Oh, okay, I'm good. I'm so happy. That's good. Mm -hmm. deserve... At least you've, you've covered your costs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Good. 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 good, good, good. You said you also but the houses and you, that you had to raise money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So while I was producing and uh, you got a point, you know, sometimes they, you get out of your budget when you're producing, especially when the creative mind comes in. So mm. many things were not in the script. And we got on set, and we, we have to do this. And of course, you know, money. make your budget go higher. So, and I didn't want to go to the bank. Mm. Okay. Because I actually did not know when I'm going to sell it. So the oh. trust would keep rolling if I go to the bank. I said, okay, yeah. let me just sell some of my properties away. And I did. Oh. And of course, I think I can get like buy buy three of what I have. Wow. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so I don't know when I'm coming to London yet. So, but yeah, it's it's a, a, the third question, another question about the. Um, oh, please ask a question. The been, no, the caller. Wait, wait, I have a caller again. <laughs> Elder Dari from Kaduna. Thanks for calling. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. Good morning, sir. To send me a paper. Good morning, sir. Good to you. Thank you so much, sir. That is a wonderful one. Thank you. I'm one of the big fans here in Kaduna. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, I just know that with this huge full cost, how were you able to ferry all those people <laughs> to the location? And be able to take care of them. Right. Follow up to the question from London. Good morning. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, it, those are the things that actually, you know, skyrocketed our budget. You know, because when I was planning, the fuel was still, you know, reasonable. But mm. at the point when the fuel, I was like, "Shall I postpone and shoot you?" Right? <laughs> uh, aren't we going to postpone this? But eventually, so, okay, let's go into it. You know, so those are the things that we face. Those are the things that made me sell something. <laughs> so um, one, one of the things I was really happy, another thing I was happy about, aside from the legacy part, was the fact that we're seeing the old Nollywood getting a bit out of the new Nollywood. What I mean by old Nollywood is you've been in the industry for years. He's old Nollywood. He's old. You are old Nollywood. <laughs> yes, old like Nollywood. it or not. Yes, you might not be as old as your Mid father, old. but you are part of the old Nollywood and you're able to get into the new industry. But the question for me is the fund. How, when, when we ask how much does it cost, I read your interview where you said, oh, this, it costs this, um, a lot of money, but it doesn't help investors to know. Because if I want to invest and I've heard... When you watch um, Hollywood movies, they'll tell you uh, this was the entire this blockbuster cost this amount of yeah. money. Thirty percent went to um, overhead um, post production. Yeah, they break about it 30, down. 50%, they do a breakdown. So an investor, I'm into real estate. I can say if I put my money into a film village, mm. this is the kind of income I can get because they are paying this much money on setting up this right. set part time. How how do you think one funding entertainment can be done better so you can get a loan that will not be having interest and two can more entertainers be more um, detailed about the budget that goes into the movie? Anyway, it's our practice. It's our practice uh, in this part of the world, not to be precise mm -hmm. about uh, yeah. what the cost on the fund is. Mm -hmm. so, you know, maybe we are not. Um, maybe we are not sure of the safety mm. you know. okay. uh, so okay. most mm. most people keep those information so that, mm. that is the practice mm. Mm. that makes sense. i have one Go ahead. question when i saw the bushes i said did, did, you must have paid for security but because oh, definitely. Boko haram definitely. that was one <laughs> that was so major there's one. another yeah. had those people on yeah. set throughout yes mm. very true okay. that was a major one security took a junk Part of, of the, the money. Uh, I about that. Okay, I have Alaji Bugatti <laughs> from Koyi. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'll first of all say, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Wa alaikum, Salam, sir. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is a family member. <laughs> I want to say, uh, Brother Femi Adebayo, you've done well. Thank you, sir. God will reward you. Amen and continue to make 
Um, Alaji, who oh, I think we lost Alaji. Lost Alaji. If Nima yeah. has sent a question to the group uh -uh. saying that, what is his take? Nima says I should greet you. Okay. Uh, she's one of the ladies of you. She said, that, what is his take on Muslim critics who question his faith because of the movie? Also, Ilori has been a conflict bed. He is from Ilori. What is his take on the Isheshe Day conflict? Isheshe. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well, let me, let me drop that one. Let's let, they just answer the question concerning the Muslim yeah. the issue with the Muslim. Yeah, yeah, well, I think the Jew not just understand uh, religion is a part of um, your belief. You know, mm. this is what I do for a living. Is exactly. my job. Mm. It's totally different from my belief. Yeah. Between mm. me and my God, so okay. I believe they just do not understand. You know, so it's totally different. I've played roles of pastors. <laughs> right. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So <laughs> why are they not coming out then? I feel this is the success of the project that is making them talk. Oh, yeah, nice. I like so, that. Great. It looks like there's a rave in the Yoruba movie industry now to, you know, put this epic narrative out there. We've mm. seen, uh, you know, Jago Jago. And before then, King we had King of Things, Orisha, Kesari, you Nikulapo. know. Exactly. And Nikulapo. Mm. What is happening? What triggered that reawakening? Well, for me, I, I just felt, okay, since when I was young, we've been watching Indian films, mm -hmm. you know, and they did not stop. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, they produced those films in their language, and so they forced their language on us. Mm -hmm. So why would Yoruba be an exception? Ah. So, yeah, I, I I, I, <laughs> so I studied it, and I realized that they do those films on a big scale. Yeah. So okay. I said, okay, let me just go back and do my own Yoruba film on a big mm. scale. Too. And I like that also because, you know, we, we've gotten to a point where we say, oh, Yoruba, Nollywood, Igbo, Nollywood, this Nollywood. You know, we put them in boxes. But what your film has done, and many of the ones that you just mentioned, is you've put it, it's, now, it's just a movie. Yeah. It's not a Yoruba movie. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, it's a movie that can be enjoyed by everyone, mm. no matter your language and anywhere in the world. So. That, and that's how it's supposed to be. Oh, you didn't answer my question about having an entertainment um, bank, having a... Um, Funding. Funding. Yeah, funding. Okay. How, how do you believe funding for movie industry should be, could, be, could be structured better? Yes. That would be easy for accessibility. Yeah. Okay, so I know of some banks that have put some I mean, structures into place, mm. you know, but I think it is not really friendly enough, mm. you know. And I know BOI is doing something too. Mm. So by now, I think they should revisit their policies okay. to make it more friendly for um, content mm -hmm. creators. Yes. You know, so I, I know a lot of people because now it's an extremely lucrative business. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. You know, that is the truth. With the piracy, you can still, you know, mm -hmm. you know yeah. make, some uh, money. make some money. Mm -hmm. Ah, that so. piracy part, I was shocked. Me, I was saying, I've not had time to watch. That's what somebody said. I'm watching it on my phone. I say, oh. not, not, not even phone as per Netflix on the phone. Like, they are downloaded. Yeah, those are, I was surprised. And those are our campaigns. That it's In the, first the, best, few days, the only way you can encourage okay. us is watch from the streamer, the yeah. authorized streamer. So that you get, get to watch that one. If you don't go to pirated sites. Yeah. yeah. That was, that, that's unfair to do. Yeah, 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 it's very unfair. Yeah. Okay, um, you said something that a Latif Adedimiji had broken his leg during the production. Yeah. A lot of laughing things that happened. Tell us a bit of that experience again. Okay, so like I said, um, Latif started training like three months before the location, oh. you know, so we, we did a lot of trainings for the choreograph, um, choreograph fights, mm -hmm. you know. So this particular scene is his first scene in this movie. Oh, mm -hmm. when he was walking in the When bush. he was walking, you know, and he just took a step and he broke his leg. Oh, man. I was like, ah. he didn't water, even water. jump. <laughs> That's why he they didn't jump, him. he didn't do anything, yeah. and Aww. the guy cried. Aww. Like, I've worked so hard for mm -hmm. this just project. So does it mean that you are going to replace me? Oh. Oh, yeah, the part? fighting part. Which fighting part? The fighting part it's where, uh, where yes, yes, where he killed. I noticed. I noticed. She's right. Though. I know. Oh wow. Yeah, it's very, it's very. It's wow. Very, yeah. 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 So a lot of body doubles, you know, and. Of course, all these things, we, we have a documentary for the film. Oh, that's so, nice. And that's coming up, I mean, pretty soon. So all, all this will reveal, it makes it interesting how the mm -hmm. film was made, you know, what we went through and all that. Well done. So the most important thing is that we were able to make you believe this is what happened. Yes. Okay. yes. So I have a question again. <laughs> From your <laughs> 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 They should please find a way 
to invoke and transfer that Agemon spirit into eh? Bottiger <laughs> so that he will become a badass in the second part chapter. Eh? He's writing part two. I'm telling you. <laughs> He's writing part two already for you. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. So many, uh, so many reviews and suggestions for this second mm. part, you know. But well, I don't know. How do you feel yeah. knowing that this is here you are work. today mm -hmm. and you're getting positive reviews? And if you were to cast your mind when you started thinking about this project, how do you feel? Um, I, honestly, I get teary most times when I read reviews and mm -hmm. when I receive calls from those that I don't even yeah. believe that could call me. Sometimes I, I, I feel like, so you sit down to watch movies too? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the calibers of people that have called, that words, yeah, yeah. called me, you know. I, um, it's, it's overwhelming. Trust okay, me. So let me take Even it the way they received right. you at that, uh, there was an event you went to recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. The way they received you, well, I, mean, I was like, ah, and yeah, yeah. this is success. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Has a lot I've got of... invitations to dinners and others from uh -uh. eminent people like. Uh -uh. Yeah, like, yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Your work ah. opened yeah. doors yeah. for you. There'll be days when it's necessary. There's something that I noticed about this and the last one. The last big, big movie you did. Yeah, the King, King of, of Thieves. King of Thieves. There was obviously a major improvement in the quality, mm. in the storytelling, mm. and it speaks to the desire for growth mm. and getting better. And I know there are many people watching that they are also producers and they are doing small, small movies. And I'd like to address them on how to, how the, the mm. sacrifice it took you to upgrade yourself each time from Jelly Lee. Mm -hmm. You cannot compare Jelili and this. Like you have decided that this big play, or we are playing it together. Mm -hmm. How can you help other people that are in your industry who are still in that stage of doing those like Jelili movie and now want to do blockbuster? What would they need to do? How would they, what they need to think? Okay, so King of Thieves is the first Yoruba movie on a big screen, mm -hmm. you know, and it was a test run for me. I've conceived the idea of Jagun Jagun before King of Thieves. Mm. Oh. But I was scared because I know it's a big project. Yes. Mm. So I was scared. Am I going to make my money? You know, so mm. okay, let me do a test run with King of Thieves. So the acceptability motivated, oh, even if you do bigger than Jack Jagun, you'll be fine. Mm. Mm. So that is to give every content creator, especially the indigenous content creator, the confidence that all you need to do is do it properly, do it well. Uncle right. was with you and blood. Already horses carrying arm, everything. Was can't you just do a love story? Yeah. You, know, you know, just people falling in love and you know well, the man of violence. I don't, I don't. Well, and then you killed the love interest uh, again. We, we we have to follow the story. That's what the story entails. Absolutely. Are you not sure that my next project is gonna be a romantic? Mm. I would love to watch a romantic you know, so movie by you. Let's mm. let's fingers crossed. Let's take a few comments on social media. Right. Akoni Taiwo is asking what next? Apart from Jagun Jago. Ah. Okay, I think you've actually answered that part yes, because yeah. he was We're not um, done yet. asking. Okay, second Oh, part. I'm sorry. Chema has been holding. Right. Good morning, Chema from London. I'll come okay. to you, Damala. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chema. Please, can you help us call Chema back? I do apologize. I, I left her holding for a while. And Miriam, they can actually see your excitement. Ah. Oh my God, Miriam, you're so excited. <laughs> I am. I and am. Yeah, they said, oh, so that broken leg of Latif is real. I saw the yeah. treatment process online. Yeah. You know, so yeah. And all of Another that script so writing. Excited. Comment from uh, Mr. Brown. Just <laughs> 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 Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. He said that I assume there's a part two. In that part two, <laughs> they must kill Ogun Digi's secret son first. Uh -uh. They must also kill all those illegitimate kings. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown I don't like Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown like is, is, is competing with me with who is the biggest he fan of this movie. Your for you. I think I'll be writing for a script conference. Yes. <laughs> all right, let's take a few more comments. Go ahead. Are you taking comments? I wanted to go, go back to the. The lesson in the story. Right. Um, lesson in the story in the fact that some people install leaders. Let's meet, yes. Installing leaders who are not the right people that, mm. that will leave the people mm. right. Mm. Mm. Sincerely, when you look at the film, you know, there's no story that, if it's properly, you know, I mean, projected oh, and executed, it you know, too. it would, you know, touch one or two people. Yeah. You understand? Yorubas will say, Pete Pete Toba non Kokma. Only Taba in Bobby. It's a mod. If yeah. you hit the mod with a stick, mm. you know, it, it can splashes. splash on anyone. Yeah, everybody. It can splash on anyone. anyone. Mm. Without yeah. the intention of making it splash on. Right. Exactly. You know, that so that, that's how the film is. Mm. Okay. Unintended consequences. Right. Exactly. Hey, the English, English version. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, Damala. Do you by any chance feel pressured to do better? <laughs> 
Mm. Ah. Like, is the, what's the pressure like? I hate God. That's God that I've raised the bar. What hey, you that's, that's exactly. That's my, oh. <laughs> Sincerely, that is my nightmare. Mm. Uh. So when when I did King of Thieves, people were like, "What would you do next?" King of Thieves is a banger, but I knew I was going to beat King of Thieves mm. because I conceived that I would be for King of Thieves. But trust me now, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm just working her. It's it's a motivation and it's a nightmare for me. Mm. So I pray I won't, I don't know. I see it with other. Trust. I know that for Kenya Dateba too. There's a long break, yeah. and you know that break is because I cannot afford to do anything less. Exactly. And everybody is taking that time. Mm. There's another, oh, sorry, let me. Yes, so there's this question we always ask, you know, especially as celebrities who have done good work. We have young people watching you. Mm. What are the lessons that you'd like for them to learn in the course of your work? For me, I would say I see excellence. I see hard work. And you push for excellence every time. Mm. You know, we have this culture in Nigeria where we feel that the fastest, smartest way, let's mm. just do it. Yeah, but you have shown excellence. It costs you time, money, mm. effort, but see the good that has come out of it. What would you like to tell young people who are coming up? Uh, you have actually mentioned one of it, which mm. is hard work. Yeah. Mm. You know, then I have to mention perseverance. Mm. You know, because they need to be extremely patient. They don't know mm. what the benefit is going to mm. be. So I will, I will appeal to them to right. please follow that route. Just do it properly. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that, that, that's Okay, route. let me take this call. Ayola's calling. Good morning, Ayola. Thanks for calling. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying a big congratulations to our brother, Mr. Senior. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, brother. Brother. Is everybody's brother. Everybody's brother now. <laughs> Success has many family. A happy place for the past few days. Thank you we so much. We are actually very happy for the movie. Thank yes, you. But I was a bit disappointed by one thing there. I hope you're able to give me the correct answer. Yes, go I ahead. I think the movie has a perfect opportunity for you to showcase some of your upcoming students. Why didn't you use them instead of upcoming, like some of um, upcoming um, actors? That girl. I said the, the character of Latif and Edimeji uh, and Kiso, Yoyo Kiso, why didn't you make use of some of the upcoming students? Yeah. Because this would have been a perfect way to showcase new faces yeah. to the world. Okay, mm. upcoming, okay. Yeah, you're very yeah. right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for that. You're very right. But, you know, like I said, um, this is more of test runs. Mm. And you look at the commerciality well. of that. Yes, uh, you so, know, you yeah, know. Yeah. so most of us think of the commerciality. <laughs> yeah. But not until you are worse to be like that this is a global producer. Then, yeah. I can make my next film and not see, make you not see a single movie star there. Yeah. 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 So the name I've made as a producer is enough for me to sell my movie. Right. Mm. Right. You understand? Well, we cannot so we're just trying to... You know, Take away that the success of the movie also had to do with experience that was brought in. I mm. know we would like to see more new faces, but we should also spend some time to appreciate yeah. that experience has a, has a, you know, it has benefits. Mm. A lot of us jump in and jump out. But if you, yeah. so people who have worked somewhere in a, for, a, for a long time, they're able to see that there's a benefit for doing something for a long time and it yeah. shows in the sort of, Work that so we're going to be wrapping up very soon. Are you going to do like a school tour ha. for this? I know because it's a Netflix project right now, but there's a part of that movie, the part where they went to fight at J Town, mm. and Latif coming back to say that we didn't, they did, these guys didn't do anything. Like, you know, we see political fights, and we know that when you talk to those people that were, the hoodlums that were doing it, we don't even know why they went there. They just told us to go and fight them. Mm. You don't know the background story and you killed people. You did not understand mm. what the benefits would be. Mm. But so I'm feeling like if we're able to take this across to schools, motor parks, we're able to let people start questioning when the ogre talks and say, go and kill them, Very go true. and fight them. You start asking that, really, why do I want to do this? Yeah, exactly. I'm killing so my people. One of the reasons um, Latif punched that line at the end. Mm. Kill us, chef. We need to allege it. You know, mm. they actually didn't do anything. But mm. we have to follow orders, mm. and that's why we're saying, okay, don't let us just follow dogmatically. Mm. You know, mm. so. Okay, so we're wrapping up. What are you, so everybody's asking you what's next, what's next. So we know that uh, part two is coming. Maybe not this year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. I'm waiting for part two. I have to talk to Mr. Brown. <laughs> But too, it's it's definitely gonna come. But um, what's the future of Yoruba Nollywood? I mean, you've obviously put um, Nollywood, and we're hoping the Oscars will call you up at some point. We know, I mean, this, this kind of movie that this kind of movie that it we expect to you Oscar. to get. So, 
Now, I mean, and I would love to see more of this cultural from different cultures in, in Nigeria, not just Yoruba. Yeah. We have so many beautiful cultural cultures, traditions that we need movies like this to project our stories. Yeah. So what can you do to support other Nollywood, Carnywood, all, <laughs> all the woods in Nigeria to support and do this kind of movies going it's forward? So the, the success of um, Jagun Jagun has bettered um, a group yes. of veterans in the industry, mm. okay. you know, to continue to talk about and liberate, you know, the promotion of um, indigenous content. Fantastic. Mm. So Fantastic. you probably will be seeing next um, an awesome movie, Igbo movies, yes. you know. Mm. So it's, it's, it's really Important. good work. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Congratulations again. We have to wrap up. Thank you very much. They're waiting <laughs> for you in London. They're waiting for you in Canada. They're waiting for you in America. They're um, premiering everywhere now. They have to throw up. For you. What are the numbers looking at now? Oh, okay. How many, many millions? millions. <laughs> As of this morning, we come out every day. We are sure trying, sure. I'm ready. 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 i am ready 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 i Mr. Femi, Adebayo Salami. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.